For many Americans, this summer has been positively sweltering. Over 200 cities across the nation broke temperature records, sending many in search of air-conditioned comfort. The hardest hit region seems to be the West, where climbing mercury sent records tumbling. In Reno, Nevada, temperatures hit 100 degrees Fahrenheit or above for 10 consecutive days during mid-July. The month was also the hottest on record for Tucson, Arizona, where highs soared between 104 and 111 degrees. And if that sounds hot, consider residents of Fresno, California, who endured temperatures of 100 degrees or more for 21 days, breaking a record set in 1933. High temperatures in the Southwest are not unusual. Death Valley, the hottest place in the U.S., is located in southeastern California. The highest temperature in North America was recorded there in 1913, 134 degrees. Intense heat isn't limited to the western states, though. August records were broken in New York Central Park with a 99-degree high, and in Newark, New Jersey, with 102 degrees. And while these temps aren't quite as high as the West Coast, the numbers have a little more sting with the high amount of humidity on the East Coast. When heat is combined with humidity or the degree of moisture in the air, the perceived temperature increases. But the record temperatures may be more than a summer heat wave and part of a larger global warming trend. According to NASA scientists, the four warmest years since accurate record-keeping started have occurred over the last decade. And while the heat may be unbearable, it can also take lives. In general, about 175 Americans pass away every summer due to heat. When the body starts to lose its capacity to dissipate heat by sweating, its core temperature rises and the individual runs the risk of developing heat stroke, a disorder that can prove deadly if not treated quickly. The elderly, children, and disabled are especially susceptible to heat-related deaths. To avoid heat disorders, experts recommend avoiding strenuous activity during the heat of the day and to drink plenty of fluids.